Just a few weeks after the royal wedding, anyone curious to see the venue so close to the newly married couple's hearts will have the chance, as Frogmore House opens to the public. The royal retreat, near to the Windsor Castle Chapel where the Prince and Ms. Markle will say their vows in front of the world, will be open for three days, inviting visitors to stroll around the ground to benefit charity. Frogmore a 17th-century house bought by George III for his wife in 1792, was a particular favorite of Queen Victoria and has enjoyed a revival of public interest thanks to the Prince and Ms. Markle. It is understood that the couple spent much time at the estate during the early days of their romance, getting to know one another in the privacy of the house and grounds. They chose the discreet setting for their official engagement photo shoot, posing on the steps, and have selected it especially for the second evening reception of their wedding day. Although Frogmore has been open to charity on select occasions before, this year is likely to see unrivaled interest from royal visitors traveling from around the world. Frogmore House and Garden will open on June 5, 6, and 7, with proceeds being donated to the National Garden Scheme, the Armed Forces Charity Safa and Prisoners' Education Trust. Still used by members of the royal family for private entertaining, the interiors and garden planting scheme reflect generations of owners from Queen Anne to Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Victoria wrote of Frogmore in her 1867 diary, This dear lovely garden, all is peace and quiet and you only hear the hum of the bees, the singing of the birds. It is not the only royal residence to be affected by wedding fever. High Grove, the private residence of the Prince of Wales, has advertised a special celebratory afternoon in honour of the Prince and Ms Markle's day. For a ticket costing £79.95, according to its website, guests are cordially invited to celebrate the marriage of His Royal Highness Prince Henry of Wales and Miss Meghan Markle on Saturday May 19 with an extra special garden tour and champagne tea, when the wild flower meadow is in full bloom. The day will include Highgrove Champagne, the famous Highgrove scones and a screening of the St. George's Chapel wedding for guests to enjoy after admiring the father of the groom's gardens. After a two-hour slot to watch the wedding accompanied by afternoon tea, visitors will have the opportunity to visit the Highgrove estate shop before departing at 3 p.m. The royal wedding, on May 19, is expected to be watched by millions of people around the world, televised in Ms. Markle's home country in America with rival broadcasts on the BBC, ITV and Sky in Britain.